Hey guys, Sandy here, and today I'm scrapbooking all of these photos. I'm going to have three different layouts. I'm going to be using my Kill a Kit with Style and getting this section of my 2018 album wrapped up. Let's see what I can do. When I knew I had my birthday photos to finish for my 2018 album, I thought I only had one or two photos. However, um, my husband uh, had these photos and I got them from him, so I went ahead and just printed them all out so that I could get them done. So instead of just doing one page, I did three. Um, and what that does is the one page that I had set aside space-wise in my 2018 album, that's perfect. One of the layouts will slide into that page protector and then I will have a front and back page protector that I can just slide in as well. So I don't have to worry about moving layouts around or anything like this. Now I do scrapbook these three layouts uh, together in one sitting. I do have things sped up a little bit faster than normal because this is a video with three completed layouts on them. Um, I decided to use this sun ray paper. Um, I matted these two photos, I trimmed them down to four by four, put them down here on the bottom, and then I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut um, some of these florals out of the She's Magic paper pad. So I did have to pull in other products outside of my Kill a Kit with Style, and I'm totally okay with that. If you were the type of person where you feel like when you make a kit, you have to use everything within the confines of that kit, um, and that gets your creative juices flowing, then by all means go with it. Um, however, if you feel like, oh, I could really use something else besides what's in this kit, go for that too. Do what makes you happy, guys, like scrapbook, how you want a scrapbook, get your product on the page. Um, if you wanna get your product on the page, I just don't wanna be um, constricted to, I can only use what is in this kit. Um, if I feel like I need something else from my stash, then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it from my stash. Now I am not, probably not gonna go out and buy something specific for um, layouts that I'm making with these kits. Um, I would probably just choose to do that layout at another time. So I do cut down the flowers there. So I have a big floral and then I have a floral that is going to be hanging off the top of the page. I throw on some foam squares. Foam squares are the easiest thing ever to give, give lift and dimension to your layout. So if you're thinking everything feels so flat, there's not enough texture, there's not enough this, and maybe you, know, you don't want big, you don't want balk, but you want a little bit of lift. Foam squares, way to go for sure. Um, I do keep foam squares in a variety of sizes. I have like small, medium, and large ones. Uh, and that is because each of the foam squares has a different thickness. So sometimes I want something that's a little thicker. Sometimes I just want a little tiny bit of lift. So I use a thinner foam square. Now those, balloon, <laughs> those balloons don't stay on the page. The balloons are actually still stuck on my tripod legs. Um, which is where I stick things that I don't end up using on a layout because they're right there and I feel like I can see them and put them down um, on a layout at another time. Um, half the time that works, half the time it doesn't. Um, I have a couple new things on here like the balloons and a little chipboard piece, but I have um, two pieces on here that have been here for probably months um, and I probably should just get to... Um, get to working on those. So my title is going to be this beautiful bag. Um, this is a Disney bag that um, I got for my birthday. And if you guys um, know me, maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys would know this, but I do have a thing for um, Dooney bags. And I love me a brown Dooney. And Dooney also makes um, Disney, Disney bags. And this one was like the one that I was like, yes, this is the Disney bag I finally want. Um, it's the one I finally want. Because you know, there are plenty Disney Dooney bags out there and I wasn't, I wasn't too sure. I was like, do I love it? Do I not? Like, am I actually going to carry it? And this one I loved. So I got it for my birthday. Um, I decided to go ahead and place the cake die cut here. The balloons just the balloons just didn't go. I'm not exactly sure that the cake goes either, but f for me it works. Um, I am pulling out some sequins. Um, 
I, mean, I don't remember which mix I actually end up using, but I do go ahead and use my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to uh, place them down. And it looks like I'm using the Vintage Dowry sequin mix and my Crystal Katana to just pull them out and place it down on the little glue dots. Now, I do use the Crystal Katana more than a jewel picker, um, and that is because the Crystal Katana has a wax tip. So I feel like it's easier to pick up the sequins. If you get glue on the wax tip, it's easier to wipe it off. And then I really like the fact that it has a metal tip on the other side so you can kind of push it down or move it ever so slightly and not really have to worry about it. I am going to add a little bit of journaling, um, just you know how much I love this Disney Dooney bag, and I'm going to um, put that down. I'm gonna go ahead and move right on in to the second layout. Um, and then again, I have pulled things from the She's Magic paper pad, and I'm just going to go ahead and build up this layout. So this um, birthday present was something that my son sent me, and it is a um, zit popper. And it might seem sick and gross, but you know what? It's a fun thing, and... Um, uh, I think at this point in our lives, we were watching a whole lot of Dr. Pimple Popper videos. Um, so, uh, yeah, there was that. And it's it's actually kind of cool. It's like this silicone-y thing that you kind of like fill with the zit juice and you pop it and it comes out. So if you are a person that, that likes that kind of thing, you totally get it. And if you're a person that thinks that that stuff is disgusting, I'm so sorry. This is why I don't have photos of it in actual use. I just have a photo of the, the birthday product, the birthday gift, the product itself. So I didn't want to um, gross anybody out, so I didn't do that. Um, I am using some die cuts and I am going to allude to the fact that this is a little bit gross, um, but that's okay because gross things can be fine, right? Like gross things can be fine. Um, I do struggle a little bit trying to figure out what I am going to use um, to to get my, my sentiment and my thoughts across for this layout. So um, I'm going to use moments from this sticker sheet that I have and I think I actually call it Hello Gross Moments or something like that. Oh, something and moments. I did bring in that and um, because I felt like there was enough green throughout the layout that I could add that in. I think I call it fun and gross moments, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Fun and gross moments. And I am um, just going to overlap that die cut a little bit so my N can nestle in to the D right there. And then I am taking these letter stickers from the Chamel sticker book to spell out gross. And it's true, it is a little gross and I'm okay with that. A little gross is okay, right? Like a little gross is okay. Now I have these chipboard uh, mini words and these came from Freckled Fawn ages and ages and ages ago. Um, and as you can see, I'm, I've got through a lot of them. I'm just trying to work my way through some more of them. So I don't really have to have them anymore. They do take up some space that, you know, doesn't need to be there. Um, so I am just using some of these embellishments that I have in my kit. And I'm just trying to, you know, give a little bit of decoration to this. I mean, how, how do you decorate something like this is what's going on in my head. Um, so I'm thinking, yeah, some arrows, that'll probably work. So we're going to go ahead and put some wood veneer arrows down because, you know, you can never go wrong with arrows. Um, they are one of those neutral things that you just don't have to worry about and they just work. Now, I do love using Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to get my wood veneers uh, stuck down to my pattern paper. Um, it gives you just um, the right amount of grip and also it dries pretty quickly and it dries nice and clear with a matte finish. Um, okay, now we're into my third layout for my birthday in 2018. I grab this stencil, which I believe is a very old Heidi Swap stencil, and some beautiful glitter glaze from Brutus Monroe. And I am just 
putting it down there um, in both corners, in the upper left hand corner and also in the lower right hand corner. And I'm trying um, to do a one of my go-to designs, um, but I just turn my photos. So usually if I have two landscape photos, this is a go-to design for me, um, but these are two vertical photos. So I'm trying something else out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the, actually I'm not sure about all of these layouts because they're just kind of they're kind of all over the place for me I feel like but I'm, I'm, I'm working with it so I am using um, a cut apart sheet and it is a four by six card that I'm just kind of using as a photo mat um, and then I have um, just some four by six paper that I am layering up as well and my photo mats are not going completely around my photos and that is okay with me. So my uh, glitter glaze has pretty much dried and I'm just going to go ahead and lay these photos down and I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to add the decorations so that it best makes sense. So we've got that down. Now as you can see I covered up a lot of the glitter glaze. I am okay with that though. So I'm going to start adding things and trying to think of what, what is gonna go where. So this little unicorn puffy sticker with the little glittery bits on the inside of it, honestly, you guys, I never thought of a moment when I was ever gonna be able to use it. So I figured I would stick it on here because it says something about making dreams come true and it's a birthday cake and birthday wishes and all that kind of stuff just worked together in my head. Now I am using a different pokey tool than normal. This is still a making, making memories pokey tool. So it is an old pokey tool, um, but my original, I'm so sad you guys, my original silver making memories pokey tool, the tip of it broke off. So it isn't a, it isn't a very good pokey tool anymore. And I am, I'm just devastated. Like I loved that thing. It was the best pokey tool ever and it just gave up. So anyway, I'm using a different pokey tool at this time. Um, I am putting a good amount of brads through and then of course I am putting my washi tape on the back because we don't like naked brad, brad tines on the back of our layouts. I am going to cut up some of these frames right here and these little frames are left over from last month's kit and you know, I just like them. They're little insect size frames and I think that they are super cute. So I just layer them up a little bit because I do need to build up a little place for some titles or some journaling. I think that's what I'm doing here. I made these layouts a couple days ago and I don't remember all of the details, which is weird because sometimes I can remember every single detail of a layout of my thought process, of why I put something there, of what I did where, like, and that could be from two years ago, and I can't remember a layout from like three days ago. I don't know, do you guys have that problem? It's, it's so weird, so weird. So we've got to you, so I think I'm just going to write out happy birthday to you. Um, and that is just because in our family, we do the birthday song in our own special way. Um, after every part of the verse, we add a woo, um, and then we also um, belt out the last, the last line at the top of our lungs, screeching off key as possible. The more off key, the better it is, and it's just a fun, fun time. Um, I'm not sure if the family um, likes receiving that as much as we like singing it, but I am a fan of both both. I like being sung to that way and I like singing to people that way. So that's where it is. Um, I am going to grab some of these Love from Lizzie strips and I am consciously trying to use my strips. So I mean I love the things. They're great little finishing touches. They're great things for outlining and, and adding little borders. And for the longest time I just set them in my little my little basket and they just looked pretty. And I really, really want to use them. So I'm going to be putting them in my kits just to make sure that I am getting some of them, at least some of them used up. I am adding the black border all the way around. This is a little bit of a thicker black border and it does have a tad 
a bit of glitter to it. So, you know, that works because it's it's birthday and glitter works, right? I mean, I think glitter can really work at any time. You don't need an excuse for it. Um, just add your glitter. Um, I did feel since I added that black border around the edge though, I needed to add a little bit more. So I did add some doodly borders around the photo mats. Here we have some up closes of all three layouts, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring that bell so you can get notifications when I post new videos, which fun fact has been happening daily since February 1st, 2020. I am shooting for at least one video every single day for an entire year. And uh, we are still growing strong with that. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.